Burkhard, one of my uh, favourite electrical muses, just posted his uh, ring oscillator Lincoln Lighten that he's been playing with on and off for uh, a while now. Uh, I, I had to try it naturally enough, and uh, so I bought one here on a swordless breadboard, tried uh, tapping different numbers of um, stages. Any odd number of stages seems to work. I also played around with the time constants, made my time constants a bit, uh, a bit longer, um, mainly because of the components that I had available. I also built a, uh, a little five version pentagonal pyramid topology of the, uh, of the circuit, which uh, is, I think is kind of cute. It's um, it's interesting as a as a geometrical as well as a um, topological and electrical device. I think powering it uh, would be interesting. Maybe I'll I'll power it off USB or something, and I'll make it you know little plug that you can just plug straight to the top of your computer or something like that. Anyway, um, yep, five, seven, or uh, any odd number seems to work just fine. Certainly a delicate effect. Um, it, it looks quite good in the in the dark, and uh, in particular up here on the roof, as you can see, the uh, the chips of the uh, the LEDs make some uh, pretty patterns. One uh, possible experiment that you could do with this is to use uh, multiple rings to drive other rings. If you uh, if you break the ring and you inject a pulse into one end, the dimmed lead, the, the absence of, of current passing through the transistor actually propagates through the network with the with the time constant of the network. So you could uh, theoretically drive multiple fanned out rings, or I guess they're not rings anymore, they're you know, linear sections or, or bifurcated networks using um, smaller rings as, as drivers for it. And you, you could possibly combine them together as well with different time constants. You might get some interesting effects. It's uh, certainly very cheap with only uh, four components per per stage and uh, plenty of room for experimentation. I don't think my camera is particularly liking the uh, intensely bright red LEDs here. It, does, it also vaguely reminds me of the, um, the well, I called it a Decatron emulator, but you can see over here on my desk one of my other Blink and Lighten projects that I did um, some time ago. It's uh, well, the details are on my website. It's a rather interesting transistor circuit that, uh, well, uh, that's the subject for another video. There's uh, actually quite a lot of detail in, in how I got that to work. And of course my Christmas tree is still going here because I'm a bit of a bogan and I haven't turned it off yet. <laughs>